Cheers is filmed before a live studio audience. Thanks for the referral, Carla. Yeah, see you, Sandal. Yeah. You're Diane Chambers, aren't you? Yes, I am. You look familiar. Weren't you an attendant at Golden Brook? That was just my cover. Santa was the one who I hired to track you down at the insane asylum. <laughs> it wasn't an insane asylum, damn it. It was more like a spa. You're out already, huh? <laughs> of course I'm out. Why wouldn't I be out? No reason. Look, you take it easy. Well, uh... Well, at least some of us look good out there, huh? Yeah, Cliff. The less of your face showing, the better. <laughs> Listen to yourselves. You're letting a minor setback in some trivial competition ruin what is an otherwise lovely day. Yeah. Forget it, Sam. You just don't get it, do you? It's not just the guys from Gary's beat us at basketball, volleyball, darts, and every other sport known to mankind. It's more than that. I'm a jock. This is a jock bar, but if we keep losing, all the jocks are gonna say, hey, cheers is for losers. Let's go drink over at Gary's. Oh, they'll never say that. They'll say, we no like cheers. Let's go to Gary's. <laughs> Gentlemen of cheer. Oh, and ladies. Hey. Tough game out there today. What are you doing here? Boy, you guys had the worst luck. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it just followed us home, huh? <laughs> Listen, we were over having a celebration at my little tavern, and I kept thinking something's missing. It wasn't as happy as it usually is when we beat you. And then I realized what it was. I didn't get a chance to thank you guys for the game. So I came over here to do it now. Way to go. The pop-up king. <laughs> Many thanks. Great glasses. Oh, oh. This is what I was afraid of. Hard feelings. <laughs> what are you talking about? You guys have nothing to hang your heads about. You played hard. You played clean. You gave it your all. Just remember, it takes two sides to make a victory. One side to win, and you guys. <laughs> Excuse me, but you've obviously come here to belittle my friends. Why, I can only speculate. Perhaps you're compensating for some physical shortcoming. I <laughs> but it's tragic that you place such stock in a silly competition. What of higher attainments? What of loftier pursuits? What of art and philosophy? What of music? I graduated magna cum laude in American literature from Princeton. Oh, couldn't make summa. <laughs> oh, 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 Gary, we're gonna need an injury substitution here. Uh, hey, you got it. The one thing I've never been called is unfair. I can believe that's the one thing you've never been called. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go uh, fire Woody up here. All right. Ah, uh, the alleys. Thanks. It's really a sensory experience, you know. The scent of Aquanet on a beehive hairdo. The roar of polyester against old Naugahyde. The sight of a cigarette stubbed out in a patty milk. All this, plus the anticipation of placing your feet in shoes only 7,000 others have worn before you. Give me your shoes. Give me your shoes. Uh, you're explaining it. You're bowling? Yes. Come on, were you any good? Yes. You whisper a word of this to anyone who matters, I'll find you and I'll kill you. I think I came by my utter contempt for the sport by accident. Hardly. I took it in college. You bowl in college? Yes. I needed the PE credits. I could read between frames. And he didn't have to run. I spent six semesters sweating in a tawdry bowling alley. Bowlers don't sweat. They do when they're wearing tweed. <laughs> in spite of my complete disdain for the experience, I have no intention of letting this 
Ivy League lounge lizard insult me and my swarthy sisters and send cheers to ignominious defeat. Peter Martinis, please. Well, you're just bubbling with energy. Oh, you must have mastered the childproof cap on your Flintstones vitamin. Yeah, it's pretty cute, Diane. Mm. Mm. Score it again. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll be saying that a lot tonight. Mm. Well, you got an evening of romance planned, Sam? Yeah, I sure do. Who is the bimbo du jour? That's the girl, all right. Claudia's been a tough nut to crack. But tonight's the night. She's going to be enjoying all the rides in Sammy's magic kingdom. She's in for a Mickey Mouse evening with Goofy as her guy. Sam. Mm, yes, five minutes. We'll be out of here. What's this? A date of yours reading Art Forum magazine? And it's right side up, too. Hope this doesn't mean that we're gonna have to talk afterwards. Why do I keep trying to communicate with you? It must be the Margaret Mead in me. That's a wonderful issue. Yes, it is. Did you happen to read their article on Chinese tapestries? Yes. It was fascinating. Wasn't it? Because the only problem was that 20 minutes later, I wanted to read it again. <laughs> <laughs> Reads and has a sense of humor. Did you lose a bet? <laughs> Say, uh, you know, that, that cheesecake can be pretty fattening. You got any ideas how we could work it off? May I say something to you, Sam? Please. You know, the first few times that we went out, I thought you were coming on a little strong. I now miss those gentler times. Claudia, trust me. You're about to come upon the gentlest time that you've ever known. Good Lord, Sam. <laughs> well, that's, that's good. Oh. I'm afraid we're just not what each other's looking for. All right, maybe you're right. Uh, Oh, wait, listen, here, uh, look, I want to wish you a happy life, uh, as happy as you can be without me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, there are no hard feelings here, are there? No, no, on the contrary, I'm glad that this happened, because I feel that everything, no matter how degrading and humiliating, should be experienced at least once in life. Well, uh, wait a second here, Claudia, uh, let's talk about this. Claudia? Claudia left rather abruptly. Didn't even say goodbye. Was she upset about something? Yeah, she was upset about something. Your little plan worked perfectly. What are you talking about? I can't believe you're actually making me say this. What? Why don't you just admit that you're nuts about me and you can't stand seeing me going out with other women, so you try to eliminate the competition? Sam. Your hormones have staged a coup d'etat on your brain. <laughs> Honestly, Sam, I don't know what brought about this change, but I find myself extremely attracted to you just now. Something's stirring inside me. I don't know what it is, but I'm becoming flushed. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is getting a little hot in here. Very hot. You mean all I had to do was go nuts over a book? Oh, I know it's crazy. All the warning signals are flashing. I never intended for this to happen, but it's out of my control. Kiss me, Sam. No, truth is, I've, I've been thinking about getting a lot more books. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
Maybe even getting a library card, huh? Oh, Sam. No. Isn't it amazing how life works out? Mm. When we woke up this morning, who would have guessed that we'd end the day this way? Just look. You have a beautiful book. I've made myself a tidy little prophet, and we're in each other's arms. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Tidy little prop. <laughs> yes. Your last bid was twelve hundred dollars. You you expecting twelve hundred dollars from me? <laughs> no, of course not, you big foolish man. I intend to deduct the five hundred dollars I owe you, and you really only owe me seven hundred dollars, but let's stop talking and start rejoicing. Hold me, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you're holding me a little tight. <laughs> Sam, I can't breathe.